Okay, good morning, you guys. <laughs> I have a problem with shoes, and I saw this ad for Just Fab. Is that what it's called? Just Fab. Um, I keep seeing their shoes everywhere, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try them. So, your first pair is like ten dollars. This is not sponsored. <laughs> and then after that, I think it's like fifty percent off. So the rest of them are like. 20 bucks or less I'm not even kidding so I went a little crazy and got myself like a few pairs just to see and I wanted to show them before I go put them away um because they're really cute but yeah I'm like it's like one of those subscriptions kind of like Fabletics where it's like if you cancel um the beginning of the month you can skip it and then you don't have to pay anything but if you miss it then you pay and then you can like use that towards a new pair of shoes but I don't know I just wanted to try it I probably won't use it again until like spring or summertime for other shoes because I kind of like stocked up but I couldn't believe how um like good quality they are for how cheap they were so I'll show you guys the pairs that I picked all right here's what I got <laughs> so this is the pair that I kept seeing on Facebook and I was like I just want to try them they're really cute on they are a little their sizing is weird I got seven and a half and everything but these are kind of tight um, but I think it'll work. I mean, they're $10 shoes. It's not like, you know, if I was going to spend a whole lot of money on these, like I would probably exchange them for like a half size up, but they're so cheap. I'll probably just wear them like one or two seasons and then sell them on Poshmark. <laughs> like these are just, I mean, basically, I mean, cheaper than Target. So cheap. So I grabbed these and then I got these, which I might wear around the house or I might wear out. I don't really know yet, but they're so comfortable. They're like faux fur. The whole inside is faux fur. And I just thought they were cute with the little gold buckle. I don't have any Ugg boots. Um, so I thought they were kind of a fun little vibe. And then this is the same pair in two colors because I couldn't decide. Like I said, again, like this was not even more than 100 bucks for five pairs of shoes. It was so cheap. Um, so the gray was really intriguing, different. I feel like the gray looks a little bit cheaper, though, than the black. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are all so cheap anyways. Like, even if I wear them two times, like, I feel like you get your money's worth because they're just so inexpensive. But these are the black ones I absolutely love. Like, these almost look like Sorel. These are really nice. I love these. And then last pair I got are these, like, cream-colored, like, booties. Um, hiker boots, I think. So, and they have a little bit of Sherpa on the inside. These run really large. And these ran really large and these run really small. So their sizing's weird, but I don't know. I'm excited because that's a lot of shoes for a really, really good price. Anyways, now I need to go put these back in my closet while David's gone because he's he probably thought this was inventory. No, it was five pairs of shoes. But anyways, good morning. I'm gonna start off the vlog with that little haul. Um, I am going to be decorating our basement today. If you watched our last video, I got a bunch of Grinch decor from Hobby Lobby. You can go back and watch that if you want to see like the haul part of what I purchased. But that's my plan today is to work on the basement. It's Friday. I just want to like clean house and like get the weekend off to a good start. table the floor has been swept it's closing time and i'm a little tired it's a long time since i'd slept the things are moving forward i'm ready to move on heading for a brand new start at the break of dawn here i come you better watch out you better beware Okay, so for lunch, I just made some potato soup. This is from the Magnolia Home I don't want recipe book. Um, looks really good. I'm also going to make us some sandwiches with it. So I have the chicken salad from Sam's Club. So we'll have sandwiches and soup. The boys are just having sandwiches. Um, they don't really like soup, so they have turkey sandwiches. I mean, that looks pretty amazing. Okay, we're turning on a movie for the kids so that I can work because I didn't 
get through putting away all of my inventory and I've got some orders to pack so I need to take some time in my office and get to work and the easiest way to do that is to distract them with something like a movie. I have slobber on me. Anyways, I'm unpacking stuff and I got this in from Amazon, portable pop-up tent. Super random, but it's gonna be so useful. I'll link it down below. It was only $20 and it looks like this. So it's a tent that I'm pretty sure just pops up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be using it for photo shoots um, for my models to change in because a lot of times I've just had them change in their car and I feel kind of bad, like, I don't know. So this will be perfect, especially since I've been doing some in the neighborhood, like I can just pop it up out in the field or wherever we're at and they can change in here. So I'm excited to use this. I need to book some more photo shoots because I have a lot of stuff that needs to be photographed. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting away inventory and packing those orders and getting some work done. Okay, I'm all done working, so I'm gonna start decorating. I'm gonna start in this bathroom, which I did get some Christmas decor for this bathroom specifically last year, and I stuck it under here. So I do have a rug and a shower curtain and some towels, and then I'm gonna do a lot of sparkles in here. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Okay guys, it's the next day and I am completely finished with the basement. We stayed up really late and I even started wrapping presents after the kids went to bed. So that was really fun. I don't know why, I just love wrapping so much. I'm not very good at it, but I love like a glass of wine and we watched Dead to Me season two. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a tour of our basement. It's all Christmassy and Grinchy. It's so cute. Okay, so coming down, the stairs into our basement. Um, this is what you see to the left, and then to the right is our bathroom. So I'm gonna take you guys in there and show you how it turned out. I need to find like a little blanket or something to wrap around the bottom of this tree, um, but this is like a super old, tiny tree, and it's <laughs> it's not decorated very well, don't worry. It's like got one random foot in it, and it's got a bunch of alcohol ornaments because um, we used to throw a lot of Christmas parties every year and we always had like drinking themed trees. So that's why it's like that. Um, but I put a little star on it. And then here's the overview of the bathroom. Cal put that target bag right there. Um, so we have some sparkly winter trees and a little reindeer. And then over here I've got that little bird and then some more gold trees. I did show that one um, and the candle. And then I've got this garland. They still have it at Hobby Lobby. I got it like three or four years ago, but it's so cute. I think it's adorable to put into like a bathroom. Um, and then this stuff I got last year from Target. It's so cute. 
I love it. And then a little rug. And then I added the red towels. And then coming out here, I did a lot in the kitchen. I've never done this much in the kitchen before. I feel like there's probably a better way to hang garland. I kind of just tossed it up there. And so I feel like if I did it right, but I don't know how. So if any of you know how to like make it really look cute up there, let me know. But for now, it's just kind of tossed up there. Um, I like the end with the bow on it. And take you guys into the kitchen. Okay, so I've got this little bar area right here. I've got a Christmas plate, and then that's new from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and get a bunch of candy. So I'm gonna fill those up with candy, little wine holder, and then we've got that little peppermint um, pot holder. This is a little cluttered back here, but I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cheerful to have all this decor. This is something I used to have up in our dining room, but I didn't use it this year. You want popcorn? I'm holding crew, by the way. Um, this is a little Grinch spoon holder. And then this tree used to be upstairs, so I put it down here. Merry Christmas. I put pine cones in our bowl and then our Grinch towel. So really cute down here. Okay, then coming over to the table here, we've got the Grinch cookie jar. And then these trees I got at Target. And then the table runner is new from Hobby Lobby. And then I did a little bar over here. Um, I have these really gorgeous red wine glasses from Home Goods a few years ago, and then these are also from Home Goods, and then these plates are from Target a long time ago. And I hung some little ornaments on our antler that's actually a plate holder, but that's how it looks now with some snowball garland. And then coming into the family room, I'm obsessed with the way the tree turned out. I did put a couple reindeer there. And then the tree looks so cute. The Grinch like totally makes him Cal put a hat on top of him. Um, the presents I got done last night and this is all from Hobby Lobby. So cute. Um, I've got a little winter candle here and the fireplace. And then we hung up these pictures. I love it. I think I'll have to replace them with family photos or something after Christmas because I really like having something on the wall now now that I see how nice it looks um some stuff around here I also put twinkle lights inside of here I just didn't turn them on yet um and then all of our Christmas pillows I think that's pretty much it so I really like how it turned out the kids love it we spend a lot of time down here and I wanted it to be like really cheerful and playful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my decorating and tour. I know I didn't do the best job of filming while I was doing it because I'm so bad at that. I feel like I have like a creative process and I just have to like get things done and focusing on like moving the camera around. It just doesn't, it doesn't go together. So I hope it was a good um, vlog for you guys. And I'm excited to celebrate Christmas. I'm going to go Christmas shopping tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to Kohl's by myself without the kids. So I might take you guys along with me and do another vlog because I just love vlogging this time of year when there's so much like fun stuff going on with the holidays. So I will probably do that. Oh, and then we're also traveling for Thanksgiving next week. So Lots of good stuff coming up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.